Hi, this video is going to give you an overview of using BigBlueButton from the point of view of a viewer or student. When you first start BigBlueButton, you'll give an option to join the audio bridge. There are two options, microphone and listen only. If I click the headset icon, I can join listen only. In this mode, I can just hear what's going on, but I can't speak. I can at any time, if I want to change my option, I can choose leave audio and I can click the phone icon again. And this time I'll get the option to join both microphone and listen only. If I choose microphone, I'll go into an echo test. I can hear myself and I click yes. I am now in the audio bridge. I'm generating audio because I can see my name up here as I speak and the microphone icon is pulsating. The main presentation area is where the instructor will upload slides, share webcams, do polls. To the left, I can see the chat area and then I can see the users list, which I have public chat, shared notes, and I can see the users who are in the session. You are always listed as the first user. And here I have my microphone and it's green, which means my microphone is active. And you can see my icon pulsating. It's generating audio. The moderator, uh, which is also has a presenter icon, Tara is currently muted. If I want to uh, mute myself, I can just click on the mute icon and my microphone is now muted. In the public chat area, I can chat with other users. So I can say, hi everyone. I can also do private chat. If I click on any user's name and click on it, I can choose start a private chat. And in there I can chat and only the that user and I will see the chat. I can ask, is there a test tonight? If I go back to the main chat by clicking on public chat, if a user does send a private chat message to you, you'll get an icon notifying you there's an unread message. And you can click on it by clicking on uh, that person's name and go back to public chat. I can also share my webcam. To share my webcam, I click on the share webcam icon and Big Blue Button will show me the webcams available plus the quality. I'll just leave the default and choose start sharing. The instructor will also share their webcam as well. The webcams by default will appear at the top, but you can actually hide the user list and you can see the webcams move to the left. That gives a presentation the maximum area. I can actually hide the presentation as well and sort of make it a webcam chat. But because this is a class, I'll show the presentation and I'll click the user icon to show the user's list. And then I can click public chat to show public chat again. And you can stop sharing webcam by clicking the webcam icon again. In the presentation area, the instructor can upload slides. These slides, they can advance through the session. And at some point in the session, they may ask a question as well through a poll. Here is an example. There are four choices here. What are the rings of Saturn made of? I think it's choice A, so I'll choose A. After all the polls are in, the instructor can choose to publish the polls and the published results will appear in the presentation area and also in the chat. On the left-hand side, there's also shared notes. So if I click on shared notes, it's a shared collaborative area where we can write together. So I can take notes during the class. These are my notes, A, B, and C. And I can go back to public chat. During the presentation, the instructor might turn on multi-user whiteboard, which gives you the ability to interact with the presentation as well. So here I'm gonna choose the pen tool and I'll choose say a different color. And now I can write on the whiteboard along with the instructor. The instructor at any time can turn off multi-user whiteboard and the instructor can also clear the whiteboard marks. You also have the ability to raise your hand. At any time you can raise your hand by clicking the raise hand icon in the lower hand corner. And when you do so, then the moderator will see a message and they can lower your hand. And you can also choose different emojis by clicking on your name, choosing set status. And there are a number of ones you can choose. You may also be invited to join a breakout room as well. When you're asked to join a breakout room, an option will appear to join the room, which you can just click join room. When you join breakout rooms, you'll be brought into an external room in a new tab. You're still in the main room. So you could still come back and ask the instructor for help and you can flip back and forth to the breakout room. While in the breakout room, you can make yourself presenter by clicking the plus sign and that will choose make presenter. Since I'm the first one here, I am the presenter and I have the ability to do like write on the whiteboard. I can do a poll, publish the options, all the things that a presenter can do. The breakout rooms are meant for you to collaborate with others. If you accidentally leave the breakout rooms, you can always click on breakout rooms and click to join the breakout room you were invited to again. And the instructor can end the breakout rooms at any time. Above the presentation is the name of the meeting and an icon to indicate whether the meeting is being recorded or not. When the meeting is being recorded, you'll see a message appear. The session is now being recorded and the instructor may opt to stop the recording at any time. And you'll see another message for that. 
There's also a connection icon in the upper right-hand corner. This gives you an indication of any past messages that you might have received where your connection wasn't optimal. And you also have the ability to enable or disable the webcams and screen sharing to reduce bandwidth. In the upper right-hand corner is the settings icon. It looks like three dots. You can click on it and you can choose help. This will take you to the Big Blue Button website where there's some tutorial videos. And you can also click on it again if you wish to leave the meeting. Just choose leave meeting. And that's it. That's an overview of using Big Blue Button from the point of view of a student.